your first alert forecast with meteorologist Corey Thompson. Good morning. The time now is 642 and Corey, foggy drive into work today. That's been the big story so far today, which is better than talking about a lot of slick roads. Now we've mm -hmm. had heard some anecdotal reports of slick roads in rural areas, lesser treated, lesser traveled pavement services, still possibly slick this morning. But fog is the big story, and that's your weatherwise question. A view of that it, uh, indicates as we pop it up here. How is visibility automatically observed? Is it using a camera? Is it using a light detector? Is it with a human eyeball? Or is it just a guess? Do we make it up? Think about it for a minute. Visibility around eastern Iowa varies from near zero in Charles City, where it's been fairly dense up toward that portion of the state most of the morning. They're still well ahead of the precipitation that's moving in from the south, and it's where rain is falling, where we've seen those visibilities get a little bit better. So that actually helps as the rain moves in today. But a dense fog advisory continues despite this, and even Charles City not included in this advisory technically, but we have seen poor visibility, at least as observed up there. This advisory continues through at least mid-morning. We may see it extend a little bit, but the overall trend will be toward better readings as we head toward this afternoon. As these numbers get bigger, visibility gets better, at least for a temporary period of time. Now, view from Cassville, you see things are a little foggy, at least at this point. Decent visibility, though, there. It's not intensely dense at this point. Temperatures, though, in Cassville hanging around 33 degrees. Iowa City and Waterloo also at that mark, but Cedar Rapids and Dubuque near freezing. That's why we're still concerned for that possibility of a few slick roadways. We're highlighting that here on your first alert in yellow for the ice potential just because it seems less likely today and notice that we go through the next 24 hours without much concern for it either. Pinpoint Doppler radar shows a lot of precipitation moving in from the south. Pretty widespread and steady from areas uh, near Grinnell up toward um, uh, Manchester and then over toward getting closer to the Cassville area but still a few hours away maybe in terms of it picking up in more intensity. Notice that some of the heaviest stuff here is in Lynn and Benton County stretching back toward Powasheet County too. But again, the road conditions as of this time on major highways reported as seasonal. That doesn't mean that there couldn't be a few slick spots with those temperatures near freezing. We could see some of that rain refreeze. We could see some of that flowing rain stick and freeze in some spots. But crews are out treating the surfaces again this morning. And the treatment from yesterday will probably help a little bit too. A little bit of residual effect from that. Now by this afternoon, precipitation winds down. So the threat for rain continues over the next few hours until about lunchtime. By dinner time, we're potentially dealing with some fog. Still dealing with some cloud cover. It's later tonight when the next batch of precipitation arrives. But likely even later tonight than what we saw this morning where it took a while for that precipitation to blossom maybe more toward mid morning where we'll see widespread rain develop again and linger through a good portion of the day so it could be a fairly wet Thursday in contrast to the past couple of days where things got drier in the afternoon now temperatures by this afternoon still headed toward the mid 30s maybe a degree warmer across the board than yesterday but still a very narrow temperature range not a lot of change from this morning where we're near 32 or 33 we'll be close to 35 or 36 by this afternoon same story over the next few days not much change in our temperatures even though we will lose the chance for rainfall by Friday we don't lose the possibility of fog though as we head into the weekend at least as long as this cloud layer kind of sticks with us and it may for a few more days. We're not going to shake the gray sky, at least for now. But next week, there's some hope for some sunnier skies and for warmer temperatures. If you like 40s, well, one week from tomorrow could feature highs as that as we turn toward the month of February. Otherwise, for this morning, how is visibility automatically observed? I feel like automatically. I just feel like you could have an argument for any of them. I may have emphasized the word automatically. Yeah, okay. So you could rule out a couple of those choices. I'm guessing it's not the D, it's a guess. And you're doing observation, so that makes it sound like you just look at it. But is that automatic? Oh, so it's a camera. Okay, is that your answer? But I feel like a light would be a really like consistent way to measure it, though. Yeah. Okay. I just don't know. It could be any of them. Uh, it is. It's a tough question. Yeah, I don't think it's with automatic. your eye. Would you say it's hard to see the right answer? Okay, it's B. <laughs> And what do you think? I'm going to say B with a light detector. <laughs> and you're both right. It's with a light detector. <laughs> There's so many hints. <laughs> uh, yes, trying to help folks out here. Uh, it's a pretty uh, sophisticated system, actually. A lot of the stuff that goes into our observations is automated nowadays. It uses, mm -hmm. like, LEDs and lasers and lights. Yeah, like, it's, even your headlights, you can tell. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So uh -huh. think about that. And it's sort of the same properties. However, 
human observations still do play a role, especially sometimes with fog. They can be edited, those automatic observations from airports to say, well, actually, this is what we're really seeing if the sensor's a little bit off. So the human component is not totally gone, but the automated observations help a lot. Great. Thanks for the help on that one, too. I tried to. <laughs> it was a tough one. I knew it was tough. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Corey. Yep.